Hey guys, had somebody email me the other day and they were asking why aren't certain heating and air companies showing up on HVAC manufacturers dealer locators and they had pointed out that in one of my videos and in my guide, my new HVAC guide, one of the tips that I throw out there is just checking on dealer locators. If you're looking at a specific brand and you want to find someone that installs that brand, going to that manufacturer's website and going to their what we call a dealer locator where you put in your zip code and they give you a list of contractors that install their products in your area. And so again, the question was basically, why don't these companies show up on dealer locators uh, the person that sent me this email, hopefully they see this, they specifically said, hey, there are companies in my area, I know they install the brand that I want, but they're still not even showing up on this dealer locator. Why is that? And so I think there are a few reasons for that. First of all, let's just go over how these dealer locators work, because I think there's two things to consider when you're looking at the relationship between an HVAC manufacturer and the HVAC contractor. The first one being if you're the manufacturer and you're gonna have a list of people that you're going to let them sell your brands and that's how they do it. They, they have certain people that they will let them sell their brand and there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, I won't get into all of them on this video but there is something to be said for if you have a good contractor in an area wanting to give them some sort of exclusivity or a little bit of preferential treatment, if you will, and different manufacturers do that in different ways. So anyway, that would be the first side of that coin. And then the other side would be contractors and when they decide to be on a dealer locator. Now, I personally, I've had Griffin Air on a dealer locator for multiple different brands over the years. And I can tell you that they don't all operate the same way. You would think that they would all operate similar to Google Maps, where if you went to Google Maps and you said, hey, I'm in this little town, I'm in this area right here, give me, uh, you know, in my area, the radius around me, give me some heating and air contractors. And in my experience, that is not how the dealer locators work. A lot of them, when uh, Griffin Air, when we've signed up to be on their dealer locator, a lot of them will ask me for a list of zip codes that I want to be featured in. So if, for example, you as the customer went on that dealer locator and put in that zip code, I would have had to have that zip code in my list, if you will. The problem with that is, I have had at least one manufacturer I can think of that they gave me a limit. They said, send us 50 zip codes you wanna be featured in. And I can tell you that Griffin Air, I don't even think our coverage area is as big as some companies. And I know off the top of my head, just the small county we live in, there's like 20, 25 zip codes. So I had to take that into account. I had to decide which zip codes did I want to actually represent or which ones did I want to show up in versus others. So that would be the first thing. If you are in an area and you're putting in your zip code and you're not getting as many contractors or any contractors showing up in the dealer locator, I would recommend putting in some of the zip codes around you. I would recommend going to maybe a, a bigger area. If you live in a small town, maybe go to the next biggest town or city and put in a zip code from there and see if you can find somebody that services you. Now you might be thinking, shouldn't manufacturers want as many contractors as possible to pop up in your area, right? They would still get the sale. And I think the problem with that is, and first of all, I would agree with you. If you, th if you think that way, I would, I would think that way too, right? But a lot of manufacturers, a lot of heating and air uh, manufacturers and, and brands have this sort of holier than thou attitude. A lot of American brands, they'll almost kind of be like, you should feel privileged that we, we're even allowing you to sell our products. And I, I, I don't know if any other contractors could relate to that, but I do know that a lot of brands have sort of, uh, you know, they almost have that attitude towards the contractors. Uh, I had a salesman years ago. It was the first time I'd met him. I'd been selling his products for about a year. And, you know, my numbers weren't huge. I was still a pretty small company, still are. But back then we were super small. And I think I might've had one employee. And you know, the first time we've met, you would think he would say, hey, thank you for your business. Thank you for selling our stuff. And the first thing the man said to me was, 
hey, we're going to look at your numbers today because we're going to set some goals. And if you don't meet those goals, you may not be able to sell our products anymore. And uh, so anyway, that's the point. That's the attitude a lot of these brands have. And I'm with you. You know, I would think that a brand would want, you know, all these contractors to show up in your area so they still get the sale. But that's not the case, unfortunately. And then the only other thing I'm going to throw out there is just realize that there are times that maybe a company doesn't show up on a dealer locator for one reason or another. Maybe they have expired. I know there are certain dealer locators that I have to renew every year to be on their dealer locator. There are also times when companies might install a certain brand, but they may not be considered a quote unquote dealer, right? So I know that some of the brands that we install, there's different programs and they use different verbiages based on which package you're a part of or whatever. And I'm not going to get into all that, but the main thing you need to realize is just because they're not showing up at that point in time on the dealer locator, to be honest with you, a lot of the dealer locators are a little archaic and they're not quite as up to speed as say Google Maps. So anyway, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.